Hey guys, this is Brad with Fun Projects with Brad. Uh, this video is going to go over the neutral wire and for smart switches. A lot of smart switches require neutral wire. We're going to go what it is, why you need it, and what to look for. Show you some physical examples of what it actually looks like. Uh, just a caveat, I am not an electrician. Everything I know I learned from my grandfather who was an electrician. Um, before you get started, make sure you got one of these a uh, voltage tester it, it'll keep you safe keep you from getting hurt make sure you always turn off your breakers and then always test your voltage always test your tester before you get started you, you don't want to you want to make sure this works so you can trust it um, turn off your breakers and stay safe so the first thing we're gonna go over is what it should look like if you have a neutral wire in your box that your switch is located at so I've drawn up a simple diagram here. You got your breaker box. The neutral wire comes down and goes all the way across to the light. And then your hot line or your black wire will go down and then that's what the switch is connected to. And then you're manually pushing up and down on this switch to turn this light on where the resistance is added. What happens is, is when we install a smart switch here, it adds a new type of resistance to this light switch. And the power is actually gonna go through this hot wire and up, and then to the neutral and back to the breaker box and make its own circuit without this light being engaged. And then when the light's engaged, the power goes through. Um, but that's what it's gonna look like. Now what it's actually gonna look like in your box, I've got an example here of a switch, is this. Um, so you'll have a wire coming up and going out the opposite end. On most houses, the wiring goes to the basement and then goes up to the attic to where the light is. So this is where your power's coming from and this is where the power's going to. And what happens is, is there's a neutral wire in here and it's white and the, the power goes through this black wire and when it's on, it goes through this black wire, through the light bulb, back down, and then through this neutral wire right here. And what we can do is we can undo this add our neutral line to the new smart switch and then connect these two power lines to the smart switch and that'll work. And that's how the smart switch works and this is what you wanna see if you have a neutral wire. Next we'll go over what it looks like if you don't have a neutral wire. Okay, the second option is when the switch never has a neutral wire and that's the problem that a lot of people run into and uh, the smart switches don't work when there's not a neutral wire. And when the smart switch says that it needs a neutral wire, this is the problem that they're having. Um, so what happens is, is the, the hot line goes all the way down to the switch. Switch turns it on, and then it goes to the light bulb. The neutral line goes from the light bulb to the power supply. It never goes to the switch. And I'll show you what that looks like physically with the switch. You'll just have one wire coming down and uh, you'll have the black wire and the white wire. A lot of times electricians will white wrap this white wire <laughs> with a black piece of electrical tape to signify that this is a hot wire. Um, so you have your power coming down, you flip the switch, and it'll go back up to the, to the light. Um, you'll never have a neutral in this instance. So if you have a smart switch that says neutral required, um, you can't use it. Now there is a third thing that can happen um, where you might have a light switch and then you'll have a power outlet right next to it. And, uh, and, and then you'll have a neutral wire going to that power outlet. Um, but you gotta be really careful in that instance. And most of the time, you should not use the neutral coming to that power outlet um, for your smart switch. Okay, everybody, so we were gonna go over um, the neutral wires and uh, this is a unique case because we have a neutral wire that's back here, but I can't use it, and let's go over why. So this is the switch I want to replace. It's for the lights. I want a smart switch. We want to put these lights in the center room on a timer so that we can have them go on and off at a certain point in time of the day. I'm going to turn on my uh, electric tester, and I can, I can put it on these wires, and I get nothing. And this is the fan switch, and I can put it on these and I get nothing. That's because I've turned off the breaker that goes to these lights. But, and, and the thing is, uh, is if you look here, you'll see I've got my black wire and my white wire, and that typically means that 
is just one wire coming down and going to this, and the power's in the ceiling, and this just breaks the power on that line. Uh, they, they did not put that electrical tape on here like I was talking about earlier. Um, but here's the deal. This, this line is hot. Uh, which means that this is a different breaker going to this switch, which this switch actually turns on and off the outside light. There's a neutral wire in here, and that neutral wire, though, is for this switch. I cannot use it for this switch. The reason why is this. Let's say I turn off this breaker, but I leave this one on, and I'm working on this breaker, and I've installed my smart switch and I've got the neutral wire going into these neutral wires in here. Here's what happens. The electrical current comes down through the smart switch and returns through the white neutral wires inside that box. Even though these wires, I've turned the box off to theoretically, I've turned the power off to these wires, there's still power going to that neutral and I could be working on these wires thinking that the power is off, when in reality there's still some voltage going through that neutral wire because I bypassed it by putting my light switch in here. That's why you can't use a smart switch without a neutral wire that's connected to the same breaker as the power source. If it's connected to a different breaker, you, you cannot use it. Um, you'll end up hurting somebody, causing a fire, or, um, you know, getting shocked yourself. So, so we cannot put this smart switch in here. I, I wanted to put it in here, but it requires a neutral wire. It's got the line source, it's got the power that goes to this light switch, and then it's got the neutral wire, so it can, it can send power itself. And this light switch will not work in this instance.